Hey there, how's your gut feeling today? Let's dive into the seven red flags of colorectal cancer and why it's crucial to be aware. Ranking as the third most prevalent cancer and second deadliest, colorectal cancer accounts for about 10% of cancer-related deaths. So, it's essential to stay informed, keep watching to learn more about spotting potential signs and safeguarding your health. In this video, I'll split the discussion into two parts. Firstly, we'll delve into the signs and symptoms of colon cancer those visible or felt indicators that something might be amiss the red flags. Then, in the second part, which I consider pivotal, we'll focus on prevention. We'll explore habits to adopt and foods to include in your diet to lower your risk of this disease. Additionally, I'll shed light on polyps and why colon cancer is on the rise among individuals under 50. It's going to be an in-depth exploration, so stick around till the end. Have you or someone you know been affected by colon cancer? Share your thoughts below and let me know where you're tuning in from. Let's get started. What are the seven warning signs indicating potential issues with your bowel health? First symptom is bowel habits. Understanding your bowel habits is essential. Some individuals visit the restroom right after breakfast, while others may go multiple times a day or just a few times a week. What's your pattern? If you notice any deviations, take heed. While bowel changes are often benign, persistent alterations warrant attention. Approximately 65% of individuals with bowel cancer experience changes in their bowel habits, which can manifest as shifts in consistency, color, frequency, or the onset of diarrhea and constipation. Any significant deviation from your norm should prompt a visit to the doctor. Stay vigilant. Second symptom is abdominal pain. If you're encountering severe cramps that recur or worsen over time, along with discomfort during bowel movements, it's imperative to seek medical assistance, particularly if you've never experienced such pain before. While it could be related to dietary changes or excess gas, persistent pain despite no alterations in diet warrants medical evaluation. Additionally, blockage from the tumor can impede the passage of food and fluids, contributing to bloating. This excess gas buildup may also induce colic-like abdominal discomfort. While several factors can cause bloating and abdominal pain, it's crucial to consult a doctor if you experience persistent or unusual bloating symptoms. Fourth symptom is fatigue and persistent tiredness. Before we dive into our fourth symptom, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your likes help boost its visibility on YouTube, reaching those who may lack access to medical care. Share this video with your friends and family too, your actions could save lives. So, let's spread the word together and make a difference. Fatigue and persistent tiredness lasting beyond the occasional bad night's sleep can indicate an underlying issue, particularly in colon cancer. This prolonged fatigue, lasting for weeks or even months, may stem from hidden anemia. The slow bleeding associated with the tumor can lead to iron deficiency anemia despite a balanced diet. It's essential to address this symptom, as colorectal cancer can be a primary cause of unexplained anemia. Cancer cells' rapid division requires significant energy, which can deplete nutrient and contribute to chronic fatigue. Therefore, it's crucial not to dismiss this symptom lightly. Fifth symptom, blood in the stool. It's essential to pay attention to any signs of blood in the stool, as it provides valuable information about your bowel health. Understanding the variations in bleeding patterns from different segments of the large intestine is vital for accurate assessment. The ascending colon, located on the right side, tends to produce liquid stools due to water absorption. Tumors in this area may bleed, leading to black, foul-smelling stools known as melena. Conversely, the descending and sigmoid colons on the left side typically yield well-formed stools, with bright bleeding that may drip into the toilet or appear on toilet paper. While various factors like hemorrhoids or diet can cause bleeding, it's essential to rule out serious conditions. Bleeding severity can range from minor traces in the stool to significant amounts, indicating various causes like ulcerated blood vessels or bowel wall pressure. Regardless, any instance of blood in the stool warrants medical attention for proper investigation and diagnosis. Six symptom in explained weight loss. An explained weight loss, distinct from intentional dieting, is a concerning symptom. If you find yourself shedding pounds without changes in diet, exercise, or mood, it warrants attention. Colorectal cancer-related weight loss can stem from various factors. The tumor might disrupt nutrient absorption, akin to a parasite depleting resources. Additionally, it may release cytokines like T and F-alpha and interleukins, curbing appetite and inducing weight loss. Moreover, the tumor could elevate energy expenditure, leading to muscle and fat depletion. 
Intestinal obstruction by the tumor could also trigger nausea and vomiting, contributing to weight loss. Seven symptom in complete bowel. Our final and crucial symptom is the sensation of incomplete bowel emptying, known as tenesmus or incomplete evacuation. Despite completing a bowel movement, you feel as though something remains, compelling you to return to the toilet. Tenesmus often accompanies bowel cancer, where the tumor obstructs the bowel, mimicking the sensation of stool presence. This obstruction alters stool shape, often appearing thin and ribbon-like due to passage through the tumor. Notably, many individuals with colon cancer exhibit no symptoms initially. However, understanding risk factors and considering colorectal cancer screening is prudent, especially if you have polyps. Colorectal polyps, benign growths on the colon's lining, can evolve into cancer over a decade if undetected and untreated. Therefore, knowing the risk factors for bowel cancer and undergoing regular screenings are essential preventive measures. Why is bowel cancer incidence rising among younger individuals? Like many diseases, bowel cancer is influenced by various factors. Firstly, age plays a significant role. As we age, our immune defenses weaken, rendering dormant polyps more susceptible to cancerous transformation. Secondly, inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis elevate the risk. Approximately one in five patients with these conditions faces a heightened likelihood of developing colorectal cancer. Thirdly, genetic syndromes like Lynch syndrome or familial adenomatous polyposis pose substantial risks. Individuals with these syndromes are predisposed to colorectal cancer due to genetic mutations. Moreover, a notable factor is family history. If a close relative such as a parent or sibling has had colorectal cancer, your own risk increases significantly. Lastly, height is associated with increased risk. Taller individuals have a higher likelihood of developing colon cancer. These factors, such as age, genetic predisposition, and family history, are immutable and underscore the importance of proactive screening and lifestyle modifications. Which risk factors can you control to mitigate your chances of developing colorectal cancer? Firstly, cigarettes. Smoking isn't just linked to lung cancer. It also elevates the risk of cancers affecting the stomach, bowel, mouth, bladder, and more. Secondly, alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol intake can increase the likelihood of colorectal cancer. Thirdly, a sedentary lifestyle. Regular exercise is crucial for maintaining overall health and reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. Additionally, dietary choices play a significant role. Diets low in fruits, vegetables, and fiber, especially those rich in ultra-processed foods, are associated with a higher risk. Processed meats like salami, ham, bacon, and sausages, which are low in fiber and high in chemicals, should be consumed sparingly due to their adverse health effects. Similarly, excessive consumption of red meat and saturated fats can increase the risk of colorectal cancer. Opting for a balanced diet rich in whole foods and limiting processed and red meat intake can help lower your risk. Why is there a surge in colon cancer among younger individuals, prompting the American Society for Preventive Medicine to recommend starting colonoscopy screenings at age 45 instead of 55 for those at intermediate risk? The answer lies in unhealthy dietary habits consuming excessive amounts of industrialized processed foods and insufficient quantities of whole, single-ingredient foods. Sedentary lifestyles and rising rates of overweight and obesity further exacerbate the issue. So, how can you safeguard yourself against colon cancer? Here are seven essential tips, with the last one holding up most significance. Stick around till the end to find out. Here's the first tip. Stay well hydrated by drinking ample fluids, particularly water. Hydration enhances bowel function, reducing the likelihood of constipation and minimizing the duration that stools and toxins interact with the colon lining. Moving on to the second tip, incorporate plenty of fruits and vegetables into your diet. These foods are rich in fiber and antioxidants. Fiber, akin to water, facilitates stool movement, diminishing contact time with the colon lining and enhancing intestinal flora. While you can enjoy red meat in moderation, it's advisable to limit processed meats, which are often high in sodium. Tip number three, embrace spices and foods renowned for their natural anti-inflammatory properties, such as turmeric and cinnamon. These additions can contribute to overall colon health and well-being. Tip four, incorporate kefir into your diet. This fermented milk drink is packed with probiotics, which support a healthy gut microbiome. By improving digestion and reducing issues like constipation and bloating, 
Kefir promotes colon health. Additionally, the probiotics in kefir may lower the risk of colon-related conditions such as cancer and inflammatory bowel diseases. The fermentation process also produces beneficial compounds like short-chain fatty acids, which nourish colon cells and reduce inflammation, bolstering overall colon health and immune function. Tip 5. Get regular exercise. Physical activity enhances bowel function, regulates hormone levels like insulin and estrogen, reduces inflammation, maintains a healthy weight, and alleviates stress all of which contribute to cancer prevention. Tip 6. Avoid alcohol and smoking, as these habits can increase the risk of colon cancer and other health issues. Tip 7. Prioritize regular checkups. Consider having your stool tested for a cold blood, which can detect traces of blood not visible to the naked eye. For those over 45 and at intermediate risk, a colonoscopy is recommended for comprehensive screening. Regular checkups and screenings are crucial for early detection and prevention of colon-related issues. Why the emphasis on intermediate risk? Because individuals at high risk, such as those with a family history of colorectal cancer or Lynch syndrome, require earlier screening. Unlike other screening methods, colonoscopy allows for the detection and removal of polyps before they progress to cancer. And like mammography, where cancer is detected after it has developed, colonoscopy offers the opportunity for preventive action. During the procedure, the bowel must be thoroughly cleansed with laxatives to ensure clear visibility. Sedation is administered for comfort as a thin, illuminated tube with a camera is inserted through the anus to examine the colon. Any polyps found are removed for further analysis. The procedure typically lasts between 30 to 60 minutes. Despite its potential discomfort, colonoscopy is highly cost-effective, leading many countries to lower the age for initial screening. Early detection significantly increases the likelihood of successful treatment and full recovery from colorectal cancer. So, prioritize your bowel health to safeguard your overall well-being. Just a friendly reminder, this video is intended for educational purposes only. If you have any concerns about your health, always consult your healthcare provider. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing this valuable information with your loved ones. To stay informed about health and well-being, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest content. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.